Hello everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and today I have with me Brian. Uh, Brian has an unusual shoulder injury that we don't see too often, but uh, before we get started with our evaluation with him, I just want to thank Brian for coming in. It's, you know, having patients demonstrate these things, especially once they've had an injury, is invaluable. And I, I probably get the most comments from students and people who are trying to learn about orthopedics. Uh, and, and they're thanking patients, you know, who do these demonstration videos with us. So, Brian, thank you so much for doing this with us. My this pleasure. helps a lot of people all over the place. Um, so, you're 61 years old, and um, you had a fall about six weeks ago. Can you kind of explain how that happened? Yes, I was uh, in my driveway, and I had a longer scoop with me, a longer handle. And as I pushed on the concrete and hit the grass, my feet shot behind me straight down and on my way down I didn't want to tweak my back so I tucked my shoulder and as I hit holding onto the scoop going down hit the concrete this way and it popped my shoulder back and I could hear it tear and rip and so forth and it's been that way since right right so a lot of pain at first yes um, then you came to see me about a week two weeks later um, just to get an assessment and see how things are going and whatnot um, and so um, what I want to do is I want to just do a demonstration of his active range of motion, then we'll do some manual muscle testing, go through a couple special tests, and we'll see if we can kind of identify this. Now, sure. you've had an x-ray and that x-ray was negative, yes. um, but we haven't had an MRI yet, so we do not definitively know what's going on with your shoulder, but I think today we can kind of um, fine tune this a little bit, tease some things out, tease some things in, and give some direction on what we think might be going on. Um, so. First of all, facing the camera, I was wondering if you could just lift those arms straight up for me. The problem is on this side, so that looks pretty good. And let's go back down. Now can you go out to the side, palms up, and go all the way over the top and touch your hands. That looks pretty good. And back down. Now can you reach up, oh you saw a little hitch right here, okay, so he has a little difficulty getting down uh, in the abducted um, painful arc region. Now can you reach up behind your head? I had a little hard time getting started and back down. How much pain did you have with that? Uh, probably three, four, somewhere around there. Okay. Now, can you reach up behind your back? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And back down. So that's probably the most difficult thing for you to it do. It is. Okay. So as far as motion goes, he's looking great. Okay. Good passive motion. Let me check your external rotation. Not terrible. Internal rotation. Relax that arm. That's looking pretty good too. Okay, so let's check your strength out. So we're gonna have that arm straight ahead. I want you to hold right there. So anterior deltoid and some rotator cuff. I want you to hold, hold, hold. A little bit weak. How painful was that? Uh, some pain there? Yes, yes. Okay. Absolutely. We're gonna bring the arm out to the side. Again, lateral delts and some rotator cuff. I want you to hold here. Don't let me push it down. Okay. Good. We're going to bring it down by your side. We're going to check the infraspinatus. So I want you to hold here. Don't let me push it in. Really good resistance there. Nice and solid. Okay. I'd like you to bring that hand in toward your belly and I want you to hold it right there. So hold tight. And he can't hold. And I'm really only pulling maybe a couple of pounds. So that would be a positive belly press test. Let's do a, a empty can test. Isolate that supraspinatus a little bit. Hold right there. Don't let me push it down. And he's, he's a little painful, but offering some resistance. So, I'm very suspicious of this lack of internal rotation. We're going to do a bear hug test. So we're going to put that hand up there. Don't hold onto your shoulder and don't let me pull it away from your shoulder. And really, almost no resistance there. Then what I'm going to do is take him into a liftoff test. So I'm going to turn you around. And here's a tricky one. So I'm going to have you stay just like that. Can you take this hand and put it, uh, the back of your hand on your bottom, there you go, and pull your hand away from your back, good, and back down. Now we can rest. Now, can we go ahead and do the same thing with the left side? Now, the first thing we need to remember is that if he just had a naturally stiff and tight shoulder, uh, maybe an arthritic shoulder, or maybe adhesive capsulitis, he would have a hard time getting that arm into that position. So what I do first is I check to see if he can get the hand away from the back, passively and he can so we know that he has the range of motion to do that so now what I'd like you to do is pull your hand away from your back 
and he cannot take it away from it at all. Okay, so I'm going to have you turn around again. So, so we're very suspicious that he has a subscapularis tear and possibly even some supraspinatus. Um, can you hold in this position? Don't let me push down. Okay, and hold right here. Don't let me turn that palm down. Hold. And he's offering some decent resistance. Um, I think he's had uh, a possible injury to his biceps in the past, um, but he's offering good resistance and I'm not really too worried about that. I also did a cervical spine clearing test when he first came in just to make sure that he had not developed some sort of a cervical spine radiculopathy and he has had history of a cervical spine uh, surgery so we checked all that out and he was good there so neurologically he looks fine. Um, so at this point we're very suspicious that he has a subscapularis tear. You need to also remember that he could also have an avulsion not just necessarily a tear of the subscap, but an avulsion. And I will leave a link of a video um, of a young man who has had an avulsion uh, injury in the show notes today. So you can check that out, which is very interesting. So with that being said, uh, you're having an MRI soon, correct? I am. And uh, hopefully that will give us some information and get you in the direction of you know getting this fixed or taken care of. So uh, again, Brian, thank you so much for allowing us to do this. And uh, thank you all for watching us. If you liked our video today, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Be sure to uh, subscribe. And if you want to support OrthoEvalPal, hit the applause button and, uh, and help us out. Thank you very much.